hello welcome to my youtube channel okay in today's video i'll be showing you on how to answer paper one linear programming exam question so it's very important for you to start with uh, these lines which are cutting on um, one axis only for example this one is cutting on y axis so this one we can write it as y is uh, less or equal to uh, six so how did i know it's less or equal to six i know it's cutting on y at six and uh, the shaded part is greater so this shaded part which is greater we get the opposite which is less the unshaded part so the unshaded part is down here which means it's less y is less we go to the next one which is this one this is x is less or equal to two so x is less or equal to 2 we have seen where it's cutting it's cutting at 2 this one is cutting at 2 and then we are getting the side which is not shaded what is the side which is not shaded is less this side is greater so we're getting the less so x is less or equal to 2 then we come to this one if you can see nicely here it's passing through 0 so so we can get the coordinate so like i said earlier on so for this one we get the coordinates where it's passing here it's a passing on 0 comma 0 and here if you can see we can get negative 2 comma 2 here it's passing on negative 2 comma 2 or negative 1 comma 1 so we'll just get these two so uh, you can find the gradient so the formula of finding the gradient is this one in case you don't know So this you pick which one is your two x x okay this one x one this is y one this is x two and y two so when you plug and solve nicely you get uh, your gradient as uh, uh, m is equal to negative one so you just get the values you put you put you get m is equal to negative one so once you get that gradient. You can use the formula for finding equation of a line, which is the, this one. So here you put y, and where there is y1, you can put 0, which is equal to m is negative 1, the gradient, and then here x, and then x sub 1 is 0. So you just get these coordinates you put them these you know you see x1 here y1 you just put them here the same thing you did when finding the gradient here so after that you find that you remain with this so you remain with y is equal to uh, negative x so how do you know that y is equal to negative x the same thing or, or how do you know like how do you know which inequality to put are you supposed to put greater or less? So the same procedure we did with the, this one. We knew that eh, y is less. It's this one. So in this case, I mean, this is x. x is less. It's this side. In this case, you get your equation, which is y is equal to negative x over here. Check which part, because this is eh, the equation. Which part are we shading? Is this the top part or the bottom part? We are shading the bottom part, which shows us that eh, y is greater is greater the unshaded part is what you are getting so y is greater or equal to negative x so this line is y is greater or equal to negative x hopefully it's making sense we go to the next one which is this one you do the same pick coordinates i can pick negative 2 uh, negative 2 comma 0 over here and then here where it's cutting here for this one i can pick uh, 0 comma 4 0 comma 4 so what we do next you use this very formula use this formula for finding the gradient after using the formula for finding the gradient you will find that eh, the gradient will be equal to 2 so our m will be equal to 2 so once we find that m is equal to 2 we can uh, use this formula he here for finding the equation of the straight line, which is equal to y 
minus y1 is equal to m x minus x sub 1. So these are ones, so we can pick this one. Uh, this zero, we put it here where y sub 1 is. And then on m, we put 2, open x. Here, we put it negative 2. Negative 2, we put it here under x. So here we solve, you have something like this after solving. So it will be like this. So this equation is for this line over here, but you need to show the shaded part, the inequality. So the same thing, you go to y, which part are you shading? You are shading the, the, the greater. So this one, it means it will be less. So this equation will be y. The same equation, this one I'm just copying, is less or equal to what? 2x plus 4. Thank you very much. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and be able to watch more videos.